If you're a lover of sherried single malt whiskies, then Glendronic is definitely the whiskey that you need to get to know better. And today we're going to do a tasting and review on Let's Talk Drinks. Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a tasting and review on the Glendronic, or Glendronic, depending on how you want to pronounce it, 12 year old. It is a sherried whiskey, it is delicious. I love this, as you can tell by the bottle, there's really just a little bit left to do the tasting. I drink this a lot at home. Um, it, it's been so popular in a lot of the masterclasses that I've done uh, all over Australia doing a lot of online masterclasses as well now through my bar the 18th amendment bar and when we do our whiskey sessions the glendronic uh, normally is one of the most uh, popular ones there it's a highland single malt it is 43 percent abv and it is aged in pedro jimenez and oloroso sherry casks from jerez in spain and i tell you what they are blended perfectly it's a real sherry bomb a little bit about the glendronic distillery it was founded in 1826. It was also one of the first licensed distilleries in Scotland. It went through a fair few number of takeovers in the next hundred years. And unfortunately it was closed down in 1996 and pretty much sat there dormant for about six years. Luckily for us, it reopened in 2002. And in 2005, they actually had the stills converted to steam because for all that time they'd been heading up the stills with coal. They were actually one of the last coal fired stills still operating in Scotland. Now it's owned by Brown Foreman, and let's give it a try. Really nice color. I think it's because of obviously the Oloroso and the Pedro Jimenez casks. Let's see how we go on the nose. Sweet. Creamy. Vanilla, sort of get a little bit of a, a mulled wine in there. There's no real ethanol burn, which is fantastic at 43% ABV. Mm, give it a try. Wow. Raisins, a little bit of a light spice, crisp. Christmas cake, dried fruits, a touch of cacao, sort of chocolate there as well. Sometimes when I taste it, it's almost like a really rich sort of aged rum as well. Uh, in a good way, I say that. This is perfect for somebody that is getting into whiskies. I, I drink a lot of whiskey and I still love it anyway, but I find that if I, I suggest this to a lot of my customers, very rarely do I have somebody that doesn't like it. And if they don't, it's normally just because they don't like whiskey in general and they're vodka drinkers. As far as the finish, it's got a medium to long finish. I get some really nice sweet nuttiness, a little bit of, sort of like a dry spice as well. Guys, I really rate it. In Australia, I think it sits somewhere around that $90 uh, AUD mark. It really punches way above its price point and I highly recommend this one. How do I drink this? I normally drink it neat. If you like, you can add just a touch of water. It really does open up those flavors as well. As far as cocktails go, I love it in an old fashioned and a Rob Roy, which is really a Scotch whiskey Manhattan. I've used it a few times in a whiskey sour. It still comes through really, really well. But most of the time I tend to drink it neat. Uh, that's the way that I enjoy it. So guys, don't mix it with anything. I think it's too good to mix with like a Coke or a, a ginger beer or something. Although a soda water is pretty good as well. However, as I normally say, drink whiskey the way that you enjoy it. Uh, you are the one that's paying for that whiskey and there's no pretentiousness or anything like that. It's your money, it's your palate. As long as you're drinking good whiskey, we're all happy. Guys, please like, subscribe. We'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.